Hi, welcome to my infestation tutorial for RimWorld. I'm Icon and this video will guide you through all you need to know to fight off those nasty insectoids in your base. This tutorial is structured like this. First off, I will talk about how infestations happen, what you can do with them and how you can prepare yourself for them. I'm going to talk about equipment and such things. And in the second half, I'm going to talk about more about the strategies and we're going to play through one example for an infestation too. So first up, what is an infestation? Infestations are crisis events that will make insectoids spawn in the middle of your base. Pretty nasty. There are a few things worth mentioning about the behavior of infestations in general. Insects love it to spawn in the mountains. They won't be spawning anywhere else. They need to have some sort of mountainous roof above them and they need to have it somewhat warm and dark. So you can manipulate the spawn points of the insectoids by creating two dark or too bright and too cold rooms and shift the spawning points a little bit but you have never ever a true control over the spawning point of the insectoids it has been like this a few versions ago but it's not like this anymore so insectoids are quite nasty they have a pretty high sharp armor which means Gunfire is less effective against them and blunt weapons are more effective against them and they are all melee and come in quite large numbers and have overrun lots and lots of colonies in the past and I've seen and I see in the RimWorld groups I am hanging around a lot of people dying quite often from these but that's not entirely necessary if you prepare yourself quite well. So equipment wise heavy armor awesome the better the heavier the better you will need at least are ideally three people you can not have more but three people are well you can do it with two I'm going to show you how you can do it with two as well but two to three people in heavy armor are really really good give them also melee weapons like here my guy Fogley wearing a warhammer and the marine armor really good stuff apart from that gunfire might be not the ideal take but chain shotguns are really really good weapons against insectoids use those they might have a low range but insects they come up close anyways and this weapon has a high fire rate high damage and a decent accuracy on low on low distances really really good thing frag grenades and molotov cocktails are also very worth mentioning but beware if your people don't manage to hit the insects your people will be blown up with these too if your people don't hit the insects your people will start burning too and you lose control of them so only use these weapons if you really feel fond of managing that so that's about equipment wise next point preparations i always have something like this a narrow corridor with only one door or maximum two doors and a narrow spot like this what we're going to do is we're going to use this area to fight insects with here but more about that later also it's really important to know that gun turrets are your really really best friends in tanking those little buggers because if you put down a gun turret like here let's connect that to power as well if you put down a gun turret like here the insects will always attack the turret first and not react to anybody behind that this has two really really big advantages first you can protect your people with that but second the explosion of a gun turret can wreck really large amounts of insects so i really really like to go for things like these where i rack up a few in a row and make sure that the insects will be attacked like that another thing i've seen people really uh, i've seen people like using is temperature control so i mentioned the temperature you can also prepare your area let's do it something like this build some copies here you can prepare an area to make it insect safe so if you know where the monsters will spawn 
or you have a hunch where they will spawn, by decreasing the temperatures below a certain temperature, like minus degrees, this will put the insects at some point to a, a, a kind of torpor. If that happens, you can just lob some flame, some mollies on them and they'll just burn to death. Really, really lovely strategy, but you will need to have a somewhat controlled environment. But it's worth mentioning, if you happen to manage to trap the insects in a hot environment, in, in a cold environment, they will just turn, fall to the ground and turn useless. All right, let's trigger a, a infestation and get going. So do incident infestation. So you never know where the infestation is actually happening, but in our scenario here, we get especially lucky. The infestation is actually happening where I prepared it. So if they, if we wouldn't have the preparations like this, let's see, this could be quite fun. So of course they will run now into the turrets like that. Let's ignore sign dilution for a moment. Here we go. Well, this is not the ideal moment to show off the temperature thing because of the gun turrets. If there weren't the gun turrets, the insects wouldn't be aggressive immediately and I could have just waited until they turn unconscious, but we can't. So under these circumstances, we use our other strategy. We put up two people up in front to block the door and then we have other people there so the next thing you do, you wait for, well, you can use your animal here as well. The animal will now open the door. And now what happens is, now we got the animal here, but un un tanking this, but this is non ideal. You see, the warg now ha is being attacked from two tiles, but that's not ideal for us. As soon as the warg is downed, we have the ideal situation where Fockley and Sky will be just tanking one attacker at a time and we will be enabled to just block these guys indefinitely. This way, there's only one insect attacking us at a time and honestly, if, or, if your frontliners are well equipped, it doesn't matter if there are 5 insects, 50 or 100. As long as you have two people up in front, and enough firepower behind that, the sheer number of melee enemies becomes irrelevant because of this blocking mechanism. So long story short, if you prepare your base with such gaps and narrow point narrow points um, in in mind while building your underground base, you can avert crisis, some infestation crisis quite easily because most infestations escalate because people are not taking them seriously enough up front. So ideally, I would not only take this corridor here, I would also prepare myself one or two more corridors. So let's see. Also, one thing I want to show you here is infestations love to happen at the same time again, at the same place again. So if you look at this here, let's see if we're getting lucky. You see, they're spawning at the same point. This is no guarantee though, this has been patched away too. But let's see, maybe we can this time do it better than the last time. But no, we were unlucky. They didn't rescue the work in time. Let's see, where was I? So there is no guarantee for the spiders spawning at the same uh, at the same spot where they spawned the first time, but it is worth keeping an eye out for where they are spawning, and then wait a sec. And then preparing these spots better because you can do yourself a big favor by preparing these areas properly. I don't know why I can't draft X anymore, but I can't. So let's just leave this video here and 
There's not much more to say about infestations. Of course, you need to get rid of the hives. You can, of course, destroy the hives, not destroy the hives and breed yourself some insects with that. But these are strategies which I don't want to talk too much about. Sadly, I wasn't able to put up the cold trick here, but the basic scenario and the basic principle, which I consider the ideal way of dealing with infestations was already shown here. You can also cr make this corridor narrower by only creating one tile or wider by creating two tiles to adjust it to your own preferences. But I have so far not seen any more effective scenario direct approaches to infestations compared to these. One more thing I haven't talked about here and that's the last thing I want to talk, IEDs. IEDs can be used for infestations as well. Basically, you know, explosives are always good against insects. So, I hope you found that quite helpful. And, well, there are, of course, way more strategies to work with. Put them in the comments down below if you feel like I left out one you definitely wanted to talk about. And apart from that, likes or subscribes to the channel would be deeply appreciated if you felt like that really was helpful for you. And whatever might be the case, I hope you guys are in the future dealing with those insects the way they deserve to be dealt with. Put them into your lavish meals. See you soon, friends. Bye-bye.